So in today's video, I'll be going through all the game passing in ARLC and determine which one you should buy. If you do enjoy this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any uploads that I post. Also check out my socials in the description below, but without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so if we look on Google here, we have big guns, we have the classic cars, we have police customization, we also have the detective path, premium housing, SWAT team, permanent scanner, instant refuel, unlawful upgrade and also fire department special operations but there is a problem because i don't actually own these two game passes so i won't be going through them but i can tell you a little bit about them but i just won't be able to show you in game the so first we're going to start off with big guns so with the big guns you get a variety of guns for the civilian team which is the ppsh 41 for machine gun, the Remington MSR sniper and the M249 machine gun and as it says here more guns will be added in the near future and also it says here note you'll still have to buy the guns with the game card. this only gives you access to the guns permanently however with people who don't have the game pass they would then they won't be able to use the guns so that's really cool so let's go and see what the guns look like and see how they are right so here we are at the gun store here are the list of guns which you can buy and the ones that are included in the big gun a big guns game pass are the remington msr which is 2500 the ppsh 41 which is 1900 and the m249 which is also 2500 let's start off with the remington msr so with the remington msr you get 30 rounds so 30 rounds of ammo it is also uh you got five ammo in the magazine the fire rate is a semi so let's just test the gun out and yeah so let's just use this for example so you got a beautiful scope it's quite easy to aim just have to move your mouth uh point to where you want to aim and then say that down there let's say that's someone's head then what you'll do is just shoot like normal and it'll just take 70 damage but if they've already lost damage then they might even die so that's really cool how they have the sniper i actually use the uh, sniper a lot however it's not my all-time favorite so let's go check out the next gun which is the ppsh 41 so the PPSH-41 is a submachine gun, so it has a fast uh, fire rate. You get 71 ammo in a magazine and you can hold up to 355 ammo. But I think that's incorrect because um, I've purchased loads of ammo for... But no, it might be correct. I'm not sure. But let's just shoot this here. So let's just think that wall, this wall here. That's the one. Oh, there's an ammo range shot at the back. Forgot about that. So let's go here. So we shoot him and it shoots uh, quite fast. It's probably not the fastest of the machine gun the fastest but it has it all it has auto it also has a lot of recoil so that's quite hard to aim and then when you re uh, reload then you get the the ammo taken off yet and put in your gun so you just fire that straight away my aim is not good because i've got like a good recoil on this gun i don't use this uh, gun much so it's not so that's probably going to be at the bottom of the list but anyway let's go on to the m249 so this gun is my all-time favorite i always go with this gun it has a great aim down sight it has three colors but you can control it easy, easier than the gpsh that's just my mouth so i like this gun takes a lot of damage i wouldn't say it takes a lot of damage but it takes like 41 i think let's have a look so where is it here oh damage 12 it normally takes 41 but yeah i don't know you get 11 rounds per second and the magazine is 120 and you get an uh, maximum of 767 rounds so i love this uh, gun all my all, uh, all time favorite so let's get on to the next game pass which is actually the i think it's the detective no it's not it's a classic cars so classic cars you get it allows you to buy all of the classic car types oh i'm just going to do that so here is Classic Cars Game Pass and this Game Pass allows you to buy all Classic Cars types and now uh, you still have to spend game cash to buy each car however the prices are lower than normal cars. So let's go and see the uh, Classic Cars. Right so here we are at the parking lot so on here let's just click the uh, fixture. So Classic. So these are all the cars that you get. You get the 1968 Sentinel Platinum. You also get the 1984 Velfire Runabout. You get the 1969 Bullhorn Prancer Classic. The Chevron Corbetta C1, 1984 Chevron LM, the 1977 Arrow Phoenix Nationals and the 1969 Falcon Stallion 350. So it comes all in different variety of colours for each car. So on this car I like this dark grey here so I could literally just purchase it but I'm not going to. In fact yeah I just purchased it. So it seems quite fast as the bar on the scale so that's Oh, got some great driving. I like how it's got that uh, gas cap, uh, gas um, tank, and the door looks like a Rolls Royce. 
Are they not? I don't know. But no, no, they're not. Never mind. I'll take that back. But yeah, it's a really nice vehicle. This is what you get for 80 Robux. So I think it's a really good uh, Game Pass to buy if you're trying to do like a um, president, not really a president, uh, president X Club because you've got limos. But if you're trying to like be like a fancy and rich roleplay, then you could go with one of these cards. Right, so let's go on to the next Game Pass, which is the Police Customization. So the Police Customization packages has a huge variety of packages you can uh, equip onto your police vehicle. So this Game Pass gives you instant access to customize any police vehicle. You can remove the light bar, push bar, spotlight, etc. This also comes with the option to add extra lights and accessories to your car, such as window lights, ant antennas, ALPRs, wraparounds, and more. You do not have to buy separate vehicles. So this is very cool. So let's just hop onto the police team and get started. <coughs> oh. All right, so let's go over to the vehicles. So here are the vehicles. So let's just pick on a random one. Let's do the bolt on practice pursuit. So edit packages here. Then once you're there, go on to team accessories and you get all these light bars. They're very cool light bars. So like this one, this is probably what you will see in America. Then got other ones i personally like the n4 light bar when i'm doing british role plays but yeah up to you you also get the rear windows lights you get the mirror lights which are them you get the side runners which are down here you also get the side window plates which are there and the plate lights which are there then let's go, go on to the accessories we have the wheel covers we have the push bar that, uh, remove it or not wrap around bar the spotlight and lpr I, I do believe that some of these packages uh you can get without the game pack and then you can get uh uh, the antennas and I think you can get that already without the game pass. So let's get on to the next game pass and this next game pass is the detective pass. So this detective pass will give you a special detective perk in the game. This includes undercover car package, visor light and texture, undercover uniform and detective tool. No additional purchases necessary to use. Undercover package available on all police cars. cars my bad. So here you can see you've got the undercover so this is what the undercover will look like. With the undercover you get the visor light which are these and what I'll put it um, and texture so I think texture is already on there but let's check out the tools and the um, outfits so this is the outfit that you get with the detective mask off in a way but oh well this is what, you, uh, this is what the uh, detective outfit looks like very cool and classic the tools that you get you get the evidence markers so say if you're at a scene and it is investigating get your evidence markers and put them on each evidence that you have which is really cool uh, next one we have the binoculars so you can spy on people or do whatever Whatever you want with them. Just to uh, keep all the right click and zoom in and out. Let's say this marker here. Zoom in and out. Get a clear shot on it. Get a far away shot. Yeah, up to you. But, oh, not bad. but anyway, the next one is the police tape. So with the police tape, say if there's a scene and you need to tape it off so no uh, people can get through. Drag it onto that. Move it over here. And click it onto that. Click there. Go over here. And then no one will get through. Well, I mean, they can, but roll paper. So anyway, let's get on to the next uh, game pass, which is going to be the premium houses. I don't actually have this game pass, but it does give you the garages the multiple floors and the garage that i think that's all it gives you it allows you uh this will allow you to purchase a two-story home change the color of your house and give you access to a uh, to spawn a car in your house garage uh, garage so yeah pretty much what i said two-story floor spawn in a vehicle or put your vehicle inside the garage especially with the new summer update which came out a few months ago and you can change the colour of your house which I did not know and I thought I could do that without the game pass but I guess not anyway let's get on to the next game pass which is the SWAT team the SWAT team is very uh, yeah it's very expensive I don't think it's, it's debatable uh, if it's worth the more uh, robux or not but this pass gives you access to all of the SWAT content this includes tactical uniform tactical vest battering ram armoured truck T36C rifle and the sniper uh, and the SWAT vehicle texture Fair Cat, note the Bearcat armored truck will be unlocked unlocked at rank 3. The SWAT vehicle texture is available on the Tahoe, Van and F150. So these so this is the SWAT Bearcat. It's very armored. It's quite hard to sh uh, shoot when at a criminal. And let's go on the let's go on the uh, Tahoe. What is it? I don't actually know. I think this one. I hope it's this one. Don't even know if it's the Tahoe or not, but I think it's got yes it does. This is what the uh, texture looks like. Very basic, but it looks cool. And it's just black and white. So, yeah, you still get all these uh, accessories if you've got the police customization. So, that's cool. You can also get uh, the two guns, which is the 
G360 rifle and the Orsys T5000. You also get some tools and uniform stuff is what the uniform looks like. And the tools that you get, you get the so your ballistic shield, atom wing ram, police swap vest, police swap vest 2.0, police swap helmet, and the safety rope. So they are all of the uh, swap game pass perks that you can get. So let's get on, move on to the next one, which is going to be let's have a look. Permanent scanner. So this permanent scanner is probably got to be my best one. Well, I won't say the best game pass that I've owned, but one of the best. So basically, you get a scanner in your inventory, which you can buy at the full store. But when, with the permanent scanner game pass, this allows you to have a uh, permanent scanner at like all times. So as it says here, once the air uh, activated, the scanner will show police radio chat and show locations of nearby cops on your map. The scanner will last for seven minutes before the battery dies. After that, the scanner will need to recharge for five minutes. Let's just activate it. As you can see, you can see the police radio scanner, live radio, and I'm in my private server. You can't, uh, there's no cops in the game. But if there was and you typed in chat in the radio, then I will be able to see it. And so you see the time remaining here. You've got seven minutes. And once that seven minutes is done, then you've got five minutes to redeem, well, for it to reactivate. And basically, without you having to go to the tools store or and renew it basically you, it just stays in your inventor in better inventory at all times which is really cool so yeah i think the police scanner is amazing but anyway let's get on to the next one which is the instant refuel oh i like this one so let's spawn in a vehicle real quick and let's see what my gas is on so my gas is nearly full tank they have got half a tank here and then this is where you run out of, run out of gas and where you need to fill up ASAP. This is full tank. So when you come over here, without the game pass, you have to keep hold of that, which takes a lot of time. But with the in instant refuel, all you have to do is click this and it gives you fuel uh, fuel instantly and you can drive off. This is great for, say, if you're in a pursuit on the police team or the uh, civilian team. It works on all the teams and it's just a great one to have. I highly recommend this game pass. Well, the next one on the list is the unlawful upgrade i recently just bought it about like two days ago and with this game pass you get you can take full control of your mafia with this criminal get upgrade pass here's everything you get to uh, get with this game pass abilities to adjust payout percentage for mafia mafia members increase mafia member limit from four to six and 25 percent increased reward for all robberies with or without mafia so let's go into the mafia and let's not start i mean the mafia so let's call it down a deck there you go so Crate, ah, oh, let's do, there you go. So here we are, this is my Mafia, that you can see here. So you can also change the color if you want, and you can change the brightness of it. If you want it really dim, you can have it really dim, or dark, shall I say. And then here you can have it really bright. So let's save it here. You can also change the uh, percentage. So say if you have five people in your Mafia and you want most of the money, then you can change them to have like 10% and you have the remaining 60. Or that, or you can share it evenly, evenly with 20% each. So I highly recommend this Game Pass. Also, I forgot to add, you also get upgrades on your... Well, when you go to Rob's office. So let's go Rob uh, ATM, for example. Oh, why is it with ATM? I'm just going to go to jewelry one here is the atm so oh i think oh let's go to the jewelry store i forgot i didn't have so we have to drill i'll have to go over to here it's okay and then as you see here max reward and you get different percentages so with the normal i think you get like 1400 is it without the game pass but because i've got the game pass i get an extra 400 so i can start this blah 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 complete it and then i get the money and that will be evenly split between your well whatever you've set your percentage for the mafia that will be split between your mafia members or if it's just you then you'll just get it all so let's move on to the final game pass which i don't actually own and that is the fire department special operations i don't think it's entirely worth the 400 robux so i'm gonna rate this the, at the very bottom of the list only because you get a special operation in this truck the hazmat suits level A and B, hazmat tools, wash station, uh, tent, neutralizer, and you get the water rescue tools, lifesaver, and life vest, and then you take the tech, 
rescue tool, which is a safety rope. You can get the safety rope on the uh, police team, uh, SWAT team, which they recently added in the few months ago. I'm not sure when. I don't think it's worth it, hence why I haven't got it. But it's really up to you if you want to get it. I can't really make her. Um... But anyway, that's going to be the end of my video. If you do enjoy this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you can get updated when I post a video. Also, check out my socials in the description below. Goodbye. Yes, I... Slow it down Can you stand yours if you want